hi and welcome uh we'll be clicking through e function that is e function uh in microsoft uh access when you talk about e function in microsoft access it is a bit different uh from e function in microsoft excel uh for instance uh if you look at the E function if E function it is double I F that is in Microsoft Access uh, rather than now in Microsoft Excel. If I basically I will create a table, uh, this table we call it E function if now in this table of mine. I will use max. I also use uh, comments. Comments. And then we shall award points using E function. Therefore, uh, basically, this is number. And then we save that one. We just feed some max. Here a bit of some max here. Eighty seven fifty. Three fifty six. Five hundred. Uh, then you feel eight ninety. Something like four three. Five sixty. Seven eight. Eight twenty eight. Six. Uh, ninety. Okay, those are enough. Therefore, we need the computer to assign for us uh, comments here and points using the E function. Therefore, you need to create a query. You go to query design. We are using the E function. And then we have our ID, marks, comments, and points. We save this one as E function. Remember, you may not call a query and uh, uh, you may cannot call a query and a table the same name, but for form and reports, that one is possible. Therefore, uh, I need to uh, to comment here using the E function, and therefore, I will uh, now write if open the normal brackets if max if max is greater than 1100 of course the bracket put your comments then uh, excellent then I repeat if max max if max is greater than uh, 850 cross the bracket comma Open the quotes. Very good. Uh, very good. Comma. If uh, max, if max is greater than six fifty, that is good. Good, we put a comma. Then if if max if max is greater than uh, five hundred, then that is fair. That is fair. Else, you just put a comma and then quotation mark. Improve. Uh, then it is important to know how many number of ifs. If ifs are three, you cross three brackets. If they are four, you cross four. One, two, three. If I get another message, then I need to add an, an if. Therefore, you can see it has accepted. Therefore, this formula of ours is the if function. Therefore, if I run, 
uh, you'll be in a position to see that uh, according to the max range only uh, one guy with uh, excellent who has attained this max and if I change this one to 1400 you see automatically uh, the computer understands that that max range has been uh, changed that way then we need to assign points uh, using a function remember there are this uh, formula of ours that is the e function is a bit different from Microsoft Excel therefore we want to assign points and uh, we start if uh, two brackets square bracket if now if if uh, comments if comments equals to equals to excellent if comments equals to excellent then we award our points we award 100 remember number in uh, when you are putting numbers we don't put quotation marks if comments if comments equal to very good comma not comma then we award uh, we had 500 comma if comments go to good good uh, then we award 250 else we shall award uh, we shall award 50 points one two three that way. then you save our work and run therefore you have seen that uh, using if function you have been a position to award you have been a position to uh, sign comments and also you have been a position to assign uh, points and if you look at this one very good you are assigning 500 any other rest than uh, uh, 100 we are assigning 50 points therefore that is how e function works basically when you want to work with e function uh, you assign the if you use the e function inside the inside the query you use a query that way you'll be in a position to uh, do it very well therefore uh, to just have a look at the the code now this is the code this is the code if this is how it's written that is for the comments uh, code for the points and code for the points Uh, this is how the codes are okay to get these codes just uh, look at my description below the video it will be in a position to copy and use these codes thank you very much for watching Remember